Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're here in the continued fight for simple transparency in the November election. And quite honestly, we are not, we are not sure why it's so difficult to get simple answers from the Harris County judge and from the Democrat administration. Um, they could resolve so many of the concerns of voters if they simply would show us all the records. And the fact that they won't does nothing but raise suspicion in the community. Um, of course, Mattress Mac and I filed a lawsuit several months ago, um, and now there has been intervention in that lawsuit. We have been joined now by the urban ministries and the uh, Urban Coalition of America, uh, conservatives. And uh, uh, their, head, their head founder um, is here um, to address you guys uh, this morning. Then Mac will talk, and then I'll finish up. Come on. Oops, sorry. Good evening. As he said, I am the founder. My name is Jonathan McCullough. Good morning, everybody. I'm the founder of Urban Ministries and Urban Conservatives of America. We are here today to express our concerns about the right to choose. We have reason to believe that our voices are being stifled by way of voter suppression. We have joined prominent respected Houstonians Jim McInvale and Wayne Del Chafino to petition the courts with respect to the lack of transparency of the Harris County Elections Administration Office that is withholding information needed to guarantee the integrity of Harris County elections for registered voters. When it comes to elections, our vote is our voice. Choice is defined as an act of selecting or making a decision when faced with two or more possibilities in the choice between good and evil. In the land of the free, in the land of the free, we have the freedom to choose those who will serve and represent the will of we, the people. In accordance with our founding document, the United States Constitution, we are pro-voice, pro-vote, is our voice. Our right to transparency is as sacred as our right to vote. Transparency in our electoral process is essential to ensure our right to vote is preserved as we get the representation that we deserve. The Harris County Election Office cannot turn a blind eye to the 2022 midterm election issues of malfunctioning voting machines, insufficient election staff, and even running out of ballots on election day. Many registered voters in certain areas were denied their legal right to vote. We are pro-voice. Our vote is our voice. We deserve and reserve the right to transparency as we want it now. Corruption is running rampant in Harris County. And we are going to fight corruption. Now I will introduce to you Jim McInvale. Thank you very much. We're proud to be here with the Urban Conservatives of America, representing the fact that Harris County citizens, whether it be Democrats, Republicans, or independent, need a concise count of the votes. We think the November 2022 election was an absolute debacle. We're just calling for Harris County to be transparent and show us what really happened and what really happened then the votes will tell the story we have been blocked at every road by the harris county election officials who won't be transparent all we're asking for is transparency in the voting process so the citizens of harris county can know they had a true vote thanks very much we are going to amend our lawsuit to add additional claims against harris county uh, if lena hidalgo and rodney ellis and adrian garcia give a damn about transparency and integrity, they will stop this nonsense now. Thank you. Melissa Wilson, Houston Area Director of Urban Conservatives. I can answer that question. I have zero confidence in Harris County elections. You understand? Zero, zero. Zero meaning none. 
okay? We need to get to a point where if they are so confident in their election process, open up the floodgates, allow this, this lawsuit to take precedence, allow, allow us to see the documents. No, there should not be politicians, candidates, or anyone running with a criminal record. They have not proven, they have not proven to the public that they are responsible. Nobody should be on the ballot. In my opinion, do your research, people. Look at these people's backgrounds. Look at what they stand for. If they stealing from people, we got issues in Fort Bend County. We got issues in Harris County. Neighboring counties have these issues where we have elected officials with backgrounds. Backgrounds that have not been honest to the public. Start looking this stuff up. Dig deeper with this stuff. You understand? And you are robbing these people from a free and fair election. We're not just fighting for ourselves. We're fighting for that little baby back there. Okay? We're fighting for more than just ourselves. We're fighting for the future generations moving forward. Thank you. Back in the day, if we had an election and there was one or two polls that didn't open, every TV station in town would be there going, what the hell? Right? What we had in November was a magnification of that kind of problem in dozens of places. Let's forget for a second whether it would have helped Republicans or Democrats. Right. We can't accept that kind of screwed up election, right? Because 30 years ago, trust me, if it was one poll, right, we'd all be there, right? All going, what the hell's going on? Now it's 60, 70, 80 polls. 